felt like forever, but we made it safe and sound. It took about seven hours, but I have to admit, the time seemed to go fast because I got to learn more about God in different ways that I can obey God. I also loved spending time with my family, and Niagara Falls was amazing! So do you want to see? That was fun. I got a lot of souvenirs to take back to NYC. Whoa, look at this. We have a comet all the way from Texas? Maybe I can visit there next. What do you think? The comet comes from Gray. Gray says, what are some other ways we can obey God? Gray, I thought you'd never ask. It's time for our Bible story. God gave the people of Israel a set of Ten Commandments for the people to follow. These rules were so that the people would know what they could do to show their love for God and the people in their lives. So far, we've learned to put God first. We should worship God only. We should respect God's name. Worship and rest on God's day. Very good. Honor your parents and not to hurt others. We also learn to keep the promises that we make. Those are really important rules. 100%. Now you know that all of these rules put together are called the Ten Commandments. So how many more commandments do we need to learn about? Three. That's right. The final three commandments tell us more about how we can love others. The Eighth Commandment says to respect other people's things and not to take anything that doesn't belong to us. Oh, that's a good one. Yes, and so is this one. Commandment number nine says that we should always tell the truth. But what if you get in trouble? Sometimes we might be afraid of getting into trouble, but we could end up hurting someone else when we lie. That's why God wants us to always be honest. Tell the truth, got it. What's the last commandment? The tenth commandment says that we shouldn't be jealous of something another person has. Why not? Sometimes my friends have cooler toys than I do, and I wish I had one too. I understand that. It's okay to think what your friend has is cool. But when we get jealous, it makes us feel grumpy and sad. God wants us to be thankful about the things we do have instead of wishing for other people's things. So I can show others I love them when I tell the truth, when I don't get jealous about what other people have, when I don't take things that don't belong to me, right? You got it. Which of the commandments is the most important one? You know, in the Bible, it says that people once asked Jesus that same exact question. Do you know what Jesus said? What did he say? Jesus said the most important commandment is to love God with all of our heart, soul, mind, and strength. And the second most important one is to love our neighbors as much as we love ourselves. Wait, love God and love others? Isn't that all of them? Yes, that's right. When we do these things, we show our love for others. And in the end, that's showing our love for God. Wow, good job, friends. We learned all 10 commandments together. I know some of them might seem harder than others, but we can work on them together. Whoa, we have a comment from Charlotte, who's all the way from Alaska. Charlotte, is Alaska cold right now? Okay, Charlotte says, I have a hard time with not being jealous. Charlotte, me too. When I see someone with like brand new shoes or a cool new gadget, I can't help but stare and wish I had it too. But the more I think about it, the more it makes me get bad feelings. So I think that's why God gave us that commandment. After all, we obey God by loving everyone. Okay, besties, I think I'm going to go look around outside for a little bit. There's so much to see on the road. Laters. <laughs>